Hey there, my name is Shreya Serengi, and I'm a professional asshole, also known as a professional annoying person. And today, I'm going to be teaching, I'm going to be teaching you, all you non-annoying, loved by society people, how to become annoying. And I'm sure you're wondering, what, what's so special about being annoying? Why would I ever want to be annoying? Why is it such a big thing? And the answer is, that's what she said. So today, I'm going to be giving you several steps to become really, really annoying. And if they don't work, then it just means one thing. You're not made to be annoying. You're made to be annoyed. Step one, be a seagull. So, raise your hand if you know the answer. Sir, 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 sir. Sir, stop being a seagull. Sir. Step two, get really pissed off when people suddenly know the answer to questions. Oh, this is such a hard math problem. Who am I ever going to find what 2 plus 5 is? Oh my god. This is such a hard math problem. If I get this on my exams, I'm going to fail. How am I ever going to find it? That's it! Maybe if we add the numbers together, we can get the answer. This is so hard after all. Oh my god, so... Just because, you, just because you're an Einstein and you know everything, doesn't mean that everyone knows everything, okay? Stop rubbing in our faces. We know you're like a genius and you know everything, okay? Stop rubbing in our faces. Oh my god. Such a dork. Step three. Make the stupidest puns that the world has ever seen. And, for these reasons, it is necessary to get a pet. That was my first list of texts on pets. Wow, so almost persuasive text was better than everyone else's. What? You get it? Because it was, it was about pets, and, and it was better than everyone else's, so it, it was better than everyone else's. I'm so annoying. Step four is, well, there's no really good way to describe this step. You kind of have to see it in action to get an idea of what it is. It's kind of like not listening to someone, but then listening to someone. And then when you were listening to them, don't listen to them, and then listen to them. That made no sense at all, so I'm just gonna show you an example. Take a look. <clears throat> Let me use the computer. Um, Chase, can you not, can you use this computer stand? Because the screen is kind of loose, and I don't want it to break. Oh, uh, no, 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 please use the computer stand. Um, please, please. Oh, yeah, you can just leave it there, that's fine. Oh, wait, yeah, you want me to use this computer stand? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, uh, no, no, but I, you could just put it, please, please, just put it there, yeah. Oh, oh, you wanted me to put it, oh, yeah, I forgot, you told me to put it there, sorry. No, just use the computer screen, please, please, just use, oh, just put it there, fine, fine. Fine, I'll use the computer stand, sorry, 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 I should really use the computer stand. Oh, my. After oh. all, we don't want the computer to shake too yeah, much, right? we don't. We don't want the computer screen to shake too much, yeah. right? Oh, my God. Step five. Even though in a video the cameraman is not supposed to be seen, make the cameraman be seen. That's really annoying. Wait, dude, I thought we agreed I wouldn't be seen. Step six, record people's conversations secretly. And even if they don't want you to, post it on YouTube or, or Facebook or somewhere else. It's, it's really annoying. And dude, you cannot believe what happened to me last night. I was at like a costume party. Okay. And it, it was actually pretty weird. There was an elephant that okay. went too, nothing much. Yeah. There was a mouse that went squeak, a dog that went wolf, and even a cow, uh, cat that went meow. Yeah. But what really confused me was there was like this fox, and then I don't know what noise he's going to make, so I asked him what kind of noise he's going to make. And then he... Dude, stop recording this video! Oh yeah, man, this one's going on YouTube? So those are my six steps on how to be really annoying. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope in the future we'll see more annoying people in this world. I mean, we really need more people like annoying in this world. That way we'll have a really bright future. And remember, if you can't follow these steps and you can't become annoying, then you're meant to be annoyed, not annoying. Oh yeah, one more thing, I forgot to give you the last step, step seven. Step seven, you have to give these random things at the end that make it look like you're producing a movie. Let's say director, producer, blah, blah, blah. No one really reads those things anyways, but it, become, it makes it annoying. It's like this.